coach what's up hope your day is going great my name is sean and i'm a success coach who specializes in aquatic sports for the company making money coaching sports where it's our mission to work with you to make coaching your only job i'm here to serve the aquatics community be it swimming clubs learn to swim programs water polo clubs artistic swimming and any private trainers who want to specialize in aquatic sports it's time to make money coaching sports, so let's dive in. Okay, coach, today, how to market your swim lessons. So we're going to talk about the best ways in which you can get clients to come to your swim lessons because you know, you're the best of the best, right? You need to be the best of the best if you're going to get kids to come and do your swim lessons. So I got a couple things here we can talk about, a couple things that we can just questions that you should have. You should be asking yourself and writing these down. So questions and answers first. Are you findable? Are you on Google Maps? That dictates whether or not you have physical location or not. Do you have a main physical location that you primarily teach your lessons out of? That's a big deal um, to have a physical location location, location, location. What I've found is that location dictates a lot of what's going to happen in your area. If you're close to people, they will come to you because you are the closest thing, regardless if you're the best thing. So location is a huge factor. You want to make sure that your location is in a spot where there's a lot of younger kids that need to learn how to swim. And that way you're just in a prime real estate spot to get all the kids in your area because parents want to find the shortest distance they can to actually get them to the lessons. If you are not on so findable, you can still be findable on Google Maps um, if you have like your house, but you're not going to want to put your house unless you have a pool and you're doing lessons out of your pool or there's a local pool that you do it out of. You're, if you're not a physical location, say you're a traveling swim coach, okay? And if you're not a traveling swim coach, why not? Why not be a traveling swim coach? You can make so much more money because again, location, location, location. If you can go to the person's pool, that saves them so much time and energy, you can charge more money per lesson and the parents don't mind because you're literally coming to their house. So why not do that? Um, do you have a website where they can reach you, right? So again, going back to being findable, do you have a name for your swim lessons? Do you have a name for your company where you do your swim lessons? Is it your name for the swim lessons? And they can Google your name and it pops up. Are you on that first search site that allows you to be popped up in the area. So if I type in swim, swimming lessons Houston, right? If I type in swimming lessons Houston into Google, what's gonna pop up? Is your thing gonna pop up? Are you noticeable? Do you have an Instagram that also pops up, a Facebook that syncs to your Instagram? Do you have a Twitter, okay? Do you have a TikTok that actually all links together so it populates in Google so you are there and you're able to be seen, okay? Other big thing, if they have peach jar in your area, this is like the craziest, easiest marketing tool possible. Peach jar in your area. You literally will buy an ad to send to schools and you pay per school. So you are literally sending it to the parents' emails about swim lessons. Parents want their kids to learn how to swim. You just have to be able to find and be a resource for them to show them that you're available, okay? Your local church, can you be in the church built-in? That's another big one. Swim league in your area. If there's a swim league every summer in your area, your money will probably tick up most likely during the summer because more people have time. They can come different times of the day. They're not regulated by the school day. Can you get to the swim league with a bunch of younger swimmers and maybe learn to make them better swimmers if they do a little bit on the side, if their parents really want them to compete at a high level, high level for the summer swim league and be competitive on their team? You need to be at a swim meet. You need to have a tent at a swim meet that has your brand on it or just has a, has a bright color for your brand, be it purple, something that sticks out, people catches people's eye, and they come over to you and you talk to them about swim lessons. And make sure that you get their information. You need their name and their email address because that's when the marketing cycle will start. And that way you can actually continue to send them information about your program, especially if they're local, okay? So this is just a super fast run through of stuff. If you are more interested in learning all these tips, 
okay? We've got links in the description below. Subscribe to this channel so that you can get more stuff on how to improve your ability to make money coaching sports. All right, thanks. Coach Sean signing off.